Michael Nagy here with Jiggy Jag TV and I'm here with DJ Mighty Mike Saga. How you doing today? I'm doing very good. Cool, cool. For the record, I'm really drunk. <laughs> so you want to talk a little about yourself, your DJing and everything? Uh, so I got started about 20 years ago. Wow. I started as an 80s DJ. I was playing vinyl. Now, keep in mind, this is in like 2003. So I'm not that cool saying that I, I picked up vinyl then because it was, you know, it's not the 80s anymore. <laughs> So I got into 80s music, and then I got picked up by this guy named Dr. Octopussy, who is a Octavio. staple in Philadelphia. Yeah, Octavio. So he was doing a thing called Visago and uh, Shock Therapy in Philly, which is basically a cyber industrial fetish party. Um, he gave me a chance. He's like, hey, you play 80s records? Want to play at my party? And I'm like, <laughs> you have a fetish party? Yeah, I want to play 80s records at your party. And then I got uh, introduced to uh, the various sounds of alternative music, like industrial, synth pop, future pop. And here I am talking to you right now because of that. It's awesome. Yeah, you've been a pretty big influence on the whole tri-state area scene. I even know you travel and you've got your own events. And it's pretty spectacular. Thank you. Now you want to tell us some of the events that you host? Yes. So I do, uh, on a regular here in Philadelphia, I do a monthly event called Vortex. It's at, actually at Voltage Lounge. It's right next door to the, uh, the electric factory. And it's basically the goth industrial, stompy, fun night to go to once a month here in Philly. Uh, I also do an event called 80s Affair, which is strictly 80s music, because that's where I got my start. So, and uh, I've also been known to dip, throw a rave every once in a while. And I actually got into, like, the whole reason I'm into dance music in general is because I, I went to a rave in 1994 and it changed my entire life. Really? Uh, so, so I throw raves every once in a while. That's cool. So I don't like to pigeonhole myself and say that I'm only into industrial. I, I like to say to so everybody listening that sees this, good music is good music. I don't give a fuck what it is. I truly believe that <laughs> if you hear something awesome, you're going to like it. And I play those things. That's cool. Now do you also make music or you just mix music? Yes. Actually, I'm a vocalist. Uh, uh, the music that I've done, I haven't done it in a while. Uh, I used to do like Terror EBM style. Wow. So uh, I was involved with a band that's not really doing anything right now called Black Ops. And the guys that are uh, like in, in charge of the band are from Arizona and LA. And uh, they were signed to a record label called uh, Death Watch Asia. Uh, they toured, they toured Static Perfection. I did a couple of songs on uh, two albums and one got married. The other one started doing horror podcasts, so like, they didn't really do anything anymore, but I, I guess I've done music, I've performed on stage, but my heart is promoting events uh, to keep stuff going, to keep people, you know, going to shit. Like, I don't want to let this scene die in this city, so I'm oh, just doing yeah. a thing, man. Philadelphia's got a pretty great scene. Why do you think that is? Because I've traveled all over the U.S. for events and stuff, and Philadelphia is definitely awesome. I think, I think what it is, it's like, it's like, okay, so like the best way to describe it is like, we're keeping our heads above water. And like, so Patrick, the guy that's doing the event tonight, uh, he has Drax Ball, Dracula's Ball, which is coming up. Can I plug this event? Yeah, yeah. So on, actually on Halloween this month, October, he has Clannazyme Ox for Dracula's Ball at the Trocadero. Um, so he does his thing. One of my I, favorite events. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like I'll be well. there. I'll see you there too, right? That's cool. Yeah. So um, he does his thing, and I do my thing. We just, dude, we're just keeping shit going. And I also want to plug. So even though it's not in Philadelphia, my buddy Matt Jester at Bar Thirteen in Wilmington, Delaware, they do a thing called Asylum Thirteen every Thursday. This has been going on for seven years. Every Thursday in Wilmington, Delaware. They've had a goth industrial fetish night going on for seven fucking years. They just had their anniversary. For their anniversary, they had fucking chem lab to play for them. So yeah, it's kind of huge. So I think our scene, we're a tight knit community and we just keep shit going, man. That's cool. It's beautiful. And I know you travel for some festivals too, right? Yeah, I've done Kinetic Festival. I've played Wave Gothic Treffen in Germany, uh, Summer Darkness in the Netherlands and Utrecht. Wow. Um, I'm in Arizona every year, like I play for them, like I'm so cool. doing all the things, man. I, I can't say I'm ever bored, honestly. <laughs> That's ever. awesome. Now, if people want to look you up online, how do they do that? Uh, the first thing you want to do if you're in Google, it's this thing called Google. <laughs> it's new, you've never heard of it. It's like AOL, sort of. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so, if you, if you Google my name, Mighty Mike Saga, 
you'll find a lot of things. A lot of those things will tell you where I'm playing at, uh, where I've been, really silly pictures of me. For instance, I've been smacked in the face with a black cock before at a porn store. That's what's gonna happen when you Google Mighty Mike Saga. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I'm being honest. <laughs> right? You want transparency, <laughs> so I'm gonna be very honest with you. That's awesome. Oh yeah. Well, it was really good talking to you, and look him up. Yes, check me out, Mighty Mike Saga. My website is mikesaga.com. And if you wanna like like my page or whatever, it's on Facebook, it's www.facebook.com backslash DJ Mighty Mike Saga. Cheers, thank you guys. Thanks. Thank you so much. Yeah.